And of course, we told you that we're going to be bringing a tourist with us on the show today. He's a social media influencer and the CEO of Lagos Life, an online platform that showcases the true essence of Lagos. He's here to discuss exploring Lagos. Welcome, Tommy. Thank you for having me. Thank How you have for you joining been? us. I've been good. How okay. about you? You look brave, by the way. You asked what about me. I'm hungry. That's how I am. Thank you very I'm much. I'm going to get some to eat after this. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. So, okay. Tommy, what, are you from Lagos? No, I'm not from Lagos. All right. I didn't even grow up in Lagos. So, why did you choose to start exploring Lagos? Because Lagos is actually a very beautiful um, city. I grew up in Ikene, in Nogo State. Mm. So, I came to Lagos because of school and all of that. So, I just found love in Lagos. Love, like in a human being. No. <laughs> love of the city. Like, I just loved the city. I mean, the hustle, the daily struggles and all that stuff. So you actually, but you studied tourism? Um, not you? really. Okay. I didn't, I didn't study tourism. So you just... I just developed interest in tourism. Okay. So tell us, how did Lagos life start? Um, so that day, I was just bored in my house. I was like, okay, let me just do something aside the regular. I just came up with this platform called Lagos Life. So... Basically, Lagos Life is a platform that just showcases like the true essence of Lagos. So, if you go to Lagos Life right now, you see like pictures, cool places in Lagos, places you can hang out, like school, cool spots, and all that, and all that stuff. So, that's pretty much it. So, sometime in 2016, that was when I launched Lagos Life, and ever since we came up with, so that particular year we came up with like a platform under the Lagos Life called Explore Lagos. So instead of just seeing these pictures, you also get to experience. The city too. Speaking about experience mm. in the city of Lagos, you know, we, we're seeing lots of tourism companies and lots of yeah. young people doing amazing work with regards to creating awareness through social media. How would you say that social media has impacted tourism in Lagos, Nigeria? I mean, social, social media is like, for example, whenever you want to go to a new place, for example, maybe here, oh, there's this place, new spot in Lagos. I mean, social media is the first place you go to. You can check the Instagram page. You check the Instagram page to see, oh, what, what, what's it all about? Some of them are actually kind enough to tell you what their menu looks like. So you have an idea of these places before leaving your house. So I think that was not there years before now. Mm. So I think that particular um, area, social media has actually really impacted that particular area. So you can check out stuff, you can Google places, and have an idea of this place before you go there. So I think in that particular space, social media has done justice to that. All right, so if somebody contacted you and said, Tommy, well, I'm visiting Lagos, Nigeria for the first time and I want to have the time of my life, what would you say would be the top five recommendations you would give to the person without making reference to any restaurant? Thank you very much. <laughs> so what would be like the top five fun things that you'd recommend for the person to do in Lagos? I mean, number one, we have um, the longest canopy walk in Africa. Here in Lagos. Yeah, I've walked I, mean, I think that. we have the uh, free trade zone. Mm -hmm. We have Badagri. You can get to like learn about the history of slave trade, slave trade in Nigeria yeah. and everything. Um, Tommy Land Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> as really? funny as that sounds, I've never been on Third Mainland yeah. Bridge. Mm. I think that's like the second longest bridge. Yeah. I think the first is in Cairo. Is in Egypt. Yes. Third longest bridge. Okay. Yes. And Osborne traffic. Osborne traffic, oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe you just called traffic one of the sites and yes, you know, the things actually. to look forward to in Lagos. But it's actually part of Lagos life. <laughs> to be okay. honest. Okay. So um, what, what, what are some of the things, apart from you know, the traffic, of course, what are some of the things that stand out to you the most about Lagos? I mean, the downfall experience mm. and um, the hustle, mm. the food. Like, you know, okay, you want to get, like, ukele and all of that. There's this particular place where you can get, like, the best mm -hmm. of ukele. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so, speaking of the downfall experience, I'm tempted to ask you this question. When was the last time you got an alocada? Yesterday. Today. Correct, guy. <laughs> 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 okay, so, would, would you say that we've explored tourism as much as we should here in Lagos and in Nigeria? How, would you say that we've milked it? Um, I mean, we've been doing quite well, but I think it can be better. Okay. So some of these owners, they're not even helping matters. Owners of these tourist places, they're not even helping matters. Even the government, they're not helping matters. So, for example, now you hear of a particular place, maybe in Badagri, for example, and the road leading to that place is quite bad. I've already hyped it online that, oh, this place is like 
the best and someone comes from from maybe America to Nigeria and says, okay, let me visit this place and you're going there and the road is quite bad. I mean, that's like mm. bad for the person pushing the particular center or the center itself. Because nobody's going to take them seriously. It's going to exactly. look like every so time you post yeah. about this, you and know, nobody will believe you. Yeah. Yeah, so it affects your credibility it as an influencer. Credibility so if you had to make suggestions, you know, the government sat down with you and said, Tommy, I know you're a tourism expert in Lagos, Nigeria, and they sat down with you and they said, what are some of the things, the recommendations that you would make to someone who, you know, to improve the tourism sector in Lagos, Nigeria? Mm -hmm. What would you say? So I, I think they should, like, um, encourage the um, use of influencer marketing. So, I mean, abroad brands pay influencers to, like, just, okay, stay three days in our resort and you can do, like, pictures. And they, they don't have to pay them in cash. They can just, okay, just stay here for, like, three days and just talk about it on your social media platforms. If you can do that, I mean, there's no limit to who can see your content on social mm. media. Someone in India might see your content and decide to want to come to Nigeria for the first time. We've gotten DMs like that, like we're in China, we want to come to Lagos, where would you recommend us to go to? So everybody can see your content from all over the world. So I think mm. we, 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 we should do that, so encourage the use of influencer marketing. And also, we should create like um, good and more terrible roads for these people. And also people should like, um, use platforms such as like TripAdvisor to like mm -hmm. get good reviews about their platforms like that. Then Google Maps too helps. So there's something called um, SEO, that's search engine optimization. So if you go on Google, for example, and you, and you search like uh, top 10 restaurants or um, top 30 centers in Nigeria, what pops up? You get so brands and owners of these places can actually work on that and get their places. Um, on the map. On the map. Yeah, uh, on the top so. list. And I, I think that's, that's a very valid point. So we very, can do all these important. things. And even we as, as Nigerians, as Lagosians... Yeah, we can tell to, the story ourselves. Exactly. We can push it further. So I'm, for example, I'm a Google Map contributor. So I visit a restaurant. You know, I give Drop them reviews, reviews on Google Map. I tell people, like, oh, if you want to eat the best, Mama put in VI and you don't want to spend exactly. a lot of money, this is the restaurant to go. If you want to eat fancy, fine dining, mm -hmm. this is the restaurant to go to. Oh, this one, their pasta is very terrible. So by time exactly. you put so out reviews like that... By time people start putting out terrible reviews... Um, the owners of these places get we'll to like sit up. They, they will sit up, they work on these things. Okay. All so right. nobody wants bad reviews. Exactly. Honest, so. so there's so much to see in Lagos, Nigeria. You can jet ski, you can, okay, I wanted to say skydive, but I like that. We can't skydive. <laughs> do you can jet ski, yet. you can go kayaking, you can go paintballing, you can climb the longest canopy walk, you can visit the Nikkei Art Gallery. There's so many amazing sights and sounds in Lagos, Nigeria. And of course, you can see our yellow bus. <laughs> you know, similar to the yellow that I'm wearing. But thank you so much, Tommy. Well, thank you for having for, me. For joining for us. Thank How you can people much. follow you on social media? Um, you can follow me on Twitter at it's Tomiwa. That's I T S Tomiwa. And you can also follow Lagos Life on Instagram. All right. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.